In today's homework video, we will be exploring the second article of the U.S. Constitution, which outlines and explains the duties of the executive branch of government. Go ahead and label your notes and follow along with what is in purple on the slides, remembering to be listening to the video too, as I will be prompting you to draw pictures next to your notes. This ensures that you are following along. The lesson will answer the following guiding questions. What is Article 2 of the Constitution about? What does the executive branch of government do? What is the Electoral College? And what else does the executive branch include other than just the President? Article 2 of the Constitution gives powers to the President of the United States and the executive branch of government. Did you know that voters in the United States don't vote for the President? People actually vote for a group of electors when they go to the polls on Election Day. These electors have pledged to support a party's nominee for president. In many states, the ballot lists only the names of the nominees and not the names of the electors, so many people believe they are voting for the president. In 1787, the delegates to the Constitutional Convention decided on this system of indirect election of the president. Long debates took place about how to make sure the best candidate will be chosen as president. Some delegates supported a direct election by citizens. Others favored having Congress choose the president. Still others thought that state legislatures should be the, the choice. The delegates finally agreed on a compromise. Electors chosen by each state would elect the president. Ordinary citizens in each state would have a say this way, but the final decision would be made by people who were better informed about the candidates and the issues. The Constitution assigns each state a number of electors equal to the combined total of the state's Senate and House of Representatives delegations. At present, the number of electors per state ranges from 3 to 54 for a total of 538. You can see that California gets 55 electoral votes, whereas Virginia gets 13. You can learn even more about the Electoral College in the short video posted on Google Classroom called How the Electoral College Works. When I say executive, you probably think of the president, which is correct, but many students do not realize that the executive branch is way more than that one important person. Obviously, the vice president is included, but the executive branch also includes cabinet members, executive agencies, law enforcement like the police, and the entire military. The cabinet is a group of the president's top advisors. The cabinet is made up of the directors of the 15 main executive departments. Each of the department heads or directors have, has the title secretary, like secretary of defense or secretary of education, except for the head of the Justice Department, who is called the Attorney General. Cabinet members are chosen by the President and then confirmed by the Senate. The President can also remove Cabinet members at any time. Go ahead and draw a picture of Cabinet members at a big table around the President advising him in a meeting next to your notes about the Cabinet. The Cabinet members are some of the most powerful people in the United States, and each of their departments is important in the running of our country. The cabinet has a long history, all the way back to the first president, George Washington. President Washington appointed a cabinet of four people to help and advise him. The first cabinet included Thomas Jefferson, Secretary of State, Alexander Hamilton, Secretary of the Treasury, Henry Knox, Secretary of War, and Edmund Randolph, Attorney General. So what are these 15 executive agencies and what do they do for our country? Well, first, let's remember what the executive branch does. It has the power to put plans, actions, and laws into effect. So these agencies do the job of carrying out the plans and laws for their particular specialty. For instance, the Department of Agriculture carries out the plans and laws for farming and growing crops and livestock here in the United States. Let's look at the other agencies that are part of the executive branch. While we do this, I would like for you to write down at least five of the 15 agencies and a brief picture next to each to remind you of what they do for the United States. The Department of Commerce works on promoting the nation's economy and buying and selling that happens in the United States. They do this by running programs that help technological innovation, supporting business and industry, and issuing patents and trademarks. 
The Department of Education promotes national education and works to keep America competitive and to make sure that education is available to everyone. The department works closely with the states to place financial aid and help where needed the most. The Department of Energy works to advance the national economic and energy security in the United States. It helps to find new sources of clean, reliable energy through helping with scientific research and innovation. The Department of Health and Human Services helps to keep Americans healthy. It helps with administering Medicare and Medicaid. Some major agencies report into this department, including the Food and Drug Administration, FDA, and the Centers for Disease Control, CDC. The Department of Homeland Security is a new department that was formed in 2002 by President George W. Bush after the 9-11 attacks. Its job is to prevent and disrupt terrorist attacks within the United States. The Department of Housing and Urban Development works on national housing needs. It helps poor families buy homes, and it is often referred to by its initial, HUD. The Department of the Interior has a buffalo on its seal. If you haven't drawn this department yet, go ahead and add this to your growing list of agencies. I will be looking for the buffalo. The Department of Interior handles the conservation of our land. It manages our national parks and works to protect our lands, wildlife, and natural resources. The Department of Labor is responsible for making sure America has a strong workforce. It works on job training, safe working conditions, minimum wage, discrimination in the workplace, and unemployment insurance. The Department of State handles our relationships with foreign countries. This includes diplomatic relationships with over 180 other countries. The Secretary of State is the President's top foreign advisor. The Department of Transportation makes sure that there is fast and safe transportation around the United States. This is important for our economy and quality of life. They manage federal highways and the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, which makes sure flying is safe. The Department of the Treasury manages the money for the United States financial systems. It not only makes the money, but collects taxes and makes sure that the government has the money to keep running. The Department of Veteran Affairs administers benefit programs for our veterans. This is to make sure that people who served in battle for the United States are taken care of once they are back home. The Department of Defense provides the military that defends our country. It includes the Army, the Navy, and the Air Force. It is headquartered at the Pentagon in Arlington, Virginia. The Department of Defense, DOD, is the government's largest agency because the military is part of the executive branch and the president is the, executive, the head of the executive branch. He is sometimes referred to as the commander-in-chief. Draw a picture next to your notes to show the military as part of the executive branch. The final agency that we are going to talk about today is the Department of Justice. Its job is to enforce the law and to protect public safety. That means that law enforcement, like police officers, are under the executive branch, too. The Department of Justice makes sure that criminals are prosecuted and that all Americans get, f get fair justice. Some of the organizations included in this department include the Federal Bureau of Investigation, FBI, and the U.S. Marshals.